Hi, my name is Jamie Temerwalke, a Global Account Manager here at Global Communications Group in Inglewood, Colorado. I've been with GCG about a year now and about 16 years in the industry. I'm here today to talk to you about what a PRI is, some of its applications, and actually the breakdown of a PRI. In the United States, we have what's called a T1. That comprises 24 channels. 23 of those channels are used for voice, and the 24th channel is known as the Delta channel. That is to set up calls, take down calls, as well as deliver caller ID, name, and number information. Internationally, we have what's called an E1. That comprises 31 channels. 30 of those channels are the B channels, or beta channels. And the 31st channel is the D channel, otherwise known as the Delta channel. Again, the Delta channel sets up the call, takes down the call, as well as delivers caller ID, name, and number information. To help explain how a PRI works, let's take a look at this diagram. If you notice on the diagram, in the top left corner, we have what's called the telephone exchange building. That is also known as the phone company or your carrier. Middle of the page would be your location. To the right of that would indicate your phones as well as a fax machine. In the middle of the page, you'll notice there's a PRI card inside of your PBX. The purpose of a PRI card is to handle the PRI line that will come into your phone system. The purpose of a PRI card is to separate out the voice and data channels. Below that, you'll notice there's a local area network. Remember, a PRI can also be used for data applications. The local area network would contain items such as IP phones, Wi-Fi access point, Wi-Fi phone, as well as a soft phone. Also on an E1 or international circuit, you'll notice it's comprised of actually 31 channels. On our diagram, it shows 30 channels. Those would be the voice channels. The 31st channel, again, is the Delta channel. The purpose of the Delta channel is to set up calls, take down calls, as well as deliver caller ID name and number information. Below that, you'll notice in our diagram, there's an architecture diagram indicating the channel assignment. Again, if you look to the left, channels one all the way to 30 would be the voice channels. The 31st channel would be the Delta channel. In the US, on a regular T1, 24 channels, there'd be 23 B channels, or voice channels, and the 24th channel would be the Delta channel. The next diagram shows a breakdown of what the PRI line is. Again, this is for illustration purposes of what a PRI would look like. You'll notice that there's tubes. 23 of those tubes are for voice channel, pictured above. Those are also known as the B channels. That would contain user voice, data image, and sound. The 24th channel is the D channel, indicated with the tube by itself. That would be for call signaling, setup, user packet data information. That D channel is comprised of 64K. If you look further down the page, you'll notice the diagram indicates a primary rate interface diagram of 23B channels and 1D channel. Again, the B channel would start at channel number 1 and go through channel number 23. The D channel, which is the 24th channel, would be referenced by itself as a single channel. Again, responsible for setting up call signaling, user packet data, caller ID name, and number. Now I wanted to go into a little bit of the advantages of having an ISDN PRI. The first advantage would be the cost. Most companies today come to us at GCG with individual phone lines. Each individual phone line is charged by the phone company. With a local PRI, ISDN PRI, you can have what's called a circuit charge. What that is is you can put multiple phone lines on one PRI circuit and have a lower cost. Another advantage of the ISDN PRI is the features. Some features that come with an ISDN PRI or that you can add on would be, first would be a DID, direct inward dialing. That would be if you wanted to have an individual phone line assigned to one particular user. You can also have what's called a DOD, direct outward dialing. That would be used for an application of a call center. You also will have caller ID, that will be name and number delivered, as well as call hunting. Within call hunting, you can have both asequential and desequential. Asequential would basically start at the first channel, channel one, go all the way through channel 23, and then back to channel one. This would be a great application if you were to have a call center have multiple users needing to answer the phone when someone calls in. You can also do desequential. Desequential would be as that you start on channel 23 and go backwards up to channel one. The advantage of that would be if you have users that are sitting in a pool in a call center and they need to answer a phone in a different priority. Now that I've reviewed with you what an ISDM PRI is, we've reviewed some of the features and benefits of a PRI, I wanted to share with you a diagram that will illustrate a way that we are actually using PRIs today 
to cut costs for organizations. As you'll see on the diagram, in the left corner we have public internet, in the middle we have carrier network, and below we have the phone company or the carrier. To the right of that you'll notice it says private T1 circuit. To the right would be your locations, which would comprise your PC users, your servers, and also your phone system. With this type of application of PRI, we are migrating or merging internet traffic as well as voice traffic being delivered over a PRI. This is a great benefit to companies such as hospitals, financial firms, schools, manufacturers, and auto dealerships, just to name a few. The advantage is a PRI will provide increased flexibility with the option to assign channels for specific purposes, such as voice, data, or even video. Most PRI circuits also come with SLAs, service level agreements, that ensures service uptime and call quality. As indicated in our diagram, you'll notice that you're having internet as well as voice being delivered over one circuit to your location. That one circuit can now benefit your PC users as well as your phone system. Instead of having a separate PRI, like most companies did in the past, one for voice and one for data, the new integrated access PRI can offer users data as well as voice being delivered again on the same transport. We hope that you've enjoyed this overview of ISDM PRI service. If you have additional questions that you need answered, please don't hesitate to call us at Global Communications Group at the number below. Thank you.